to your new cuisine chef Kevin McCoy and we are here once again and I'm here with my brother Brasha all the way from the United States of America hey. yes you know I'm too skinny and look at him like no, man, oh, I, 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 I didn't even know I didn't even know I was gonna be shirtless or anything so I was like all right I'm this isn't my best, but it's, it's a little sub. I, I have to go and have the show work. Of course, it's the new cuisine. It's the new cuisine, so, so I was like, new, you actually. gotta be new. <laughs> I gotta go with it. Okay, so what are you gonna cook for us today? All right, I'm gonna cook one of my favorites. Uh, this is something my mother taught me. It's okay. cream of mushroom chicken. Okay. And I just love that. I didn't even like mushrooms before, but okay. I just like how you grill it you and then you okay. put you put everything the um well before that i'm going to saute a couple of vegetables okay grill this I chicken think, all that stuff it's going to be it's, it's going to be amazing, it's gonna be amazing. you know yeah i think you're going to get a lot of details when we go into the kitchen and then uh when you start cooking this is your boy once again kevin mccoy and brush it. follow us as we go to the kitchen to start cooking so guys, um, we are here in the kitchen and Rashad is going to introduce all his um, ingredients, food style, like everything to us and then we get to know what he's going to prepare for us. I actually don't know the name of the food he's going to prepare for us but I'm going to ask him and then he will introduce everything to us. So Rashad, um, we are here and you're going to prepare us a very nice meal. I can see mushroom, uh, chicken breast. Is it chicken breast? Yes, chicken breast. Okay, good. So what are you actually going to prepare for us today? All right, so the whole thing, putting everything together, I'm okay. gonna have the, the, the main entree is really gonna be this cream of mushroom chicken. Okay. So the chicken, beforehand, I'm gonna have to saute some of these vegetables you see here. Okay. Um, this butternut squash, since I want this to be softer, this is something that I'm gonna have to let, I'm gonna have to cook this a little bit sooner so it can get soft. Okay. But this is butternut squash is almost gonna be made like a dessert. I know it's a vegetable, okay. but it's gonna be more like a dessert. And then just a, a, a basic nice salad. And then it has some rice because this chicken breast has to sit on some nice rice. Okay. Which I already have this soaking in some water okay. and soaking in here just so it can get so, a little bit softer sooner. Right. And then when I actually cook that, I'm gonna put this chicken broth But in. why have you soaked the rice in water before preparing? Because where I'm from, that's not how we do it. Yeah, I mean, everywhere does stuff different, you know? Okay. So with this, I just wanted to soak it, let it get a little bit of flavor. Um, okay. In general, I like to let it soak in chicken broth. So it gets a little bit of flavor in it and then go and boil it in that chicken broth and throw a little bit of seasoning in it as well. That's what's the first uh, process that you're going to start with? Uh, the first process would be I need to slice these up a little bit smaller because when they're in chunks, it's harder to get them softer. So I need to slice this and make okay. them a little bit softer. Which one is this again? This is the butternut. This is butternut squash right here. Okay. So butternut squash with sweet potato. And this one? This right here is spinach. So a spinach. lot of people when they get, get the salad salads, they spinach. don't. Yeah. This spinach yeah. is it's a lot healthier, you know. Sure. So I really like cooking with. Actually, this, um, this one I know. Chicken breast. <laughs> yeah, the chicken breast. And I know this one is mushrooms. Yes. And this one is a bell pepper. Yes, bell pepper. And my onion. Onion. Of course, the regular sweet tomatoes. tomatoes yeah. My butternut squash okay. and sweet potatoes. Okay. And then, did you say the spinach already? And this, I have spinach for my salads. So I like to have spinach. It's more wow. nutritious. Wow. Yeah, so. And I've seen some cheddar. Oh, yeah, here. and then I got this cheddar. This is going to be for going on top of the salad. Okay. And brown sugar. Yeah, the br the brown sugar. I'm using this this brown sugar and this vanilla and this cinnamon. These are all, these are the three things that are going to go on that butternut squash. Okay. That's really going to give it some good flavor. Okay. And then these other seasonings. I like a little bit of spice. So I got this cayenne Great. pepper to go onto the chicken. And this adobo, I just love this adobo. And okay. then a little bit of garlic salt. If I have fresh garlic, fresh I garlic. use that. Okay. But I don't like to use salt, so the garlic salt I like. Right. And then white pepper also gives a nice little spice. That's great. And then you have to have your Louisiana hot sauce Louisiana. from America. I love Louisiana Ooh. hot sauce. I have like four <laughs> bottles of this shit. I've never too. tasted it before, so today will be the first time of tasting the Louisiana, um, Louisiana hot, sauce. hot sauce. Yes, yeah. I, love I would it. love to taste it. Yeah, yeah. And that's so great. That, that's everything. That's, that's everything. everything. So oh, right. oh, and we have this broth here in South Africa. They don't necessarily have a chicken broth. Okay. So they have this stock, which you, oh. uh, I'm going to take this and put that in the rice and the give rice. it a little bit more flavor, flavor to it as well. Oh, okay. Okay. That's great. That's great. So are you going to start cooking now? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So there are more questions I'm going to ask Brashad whilst he is doing the cooking. So guys, don't go anywhere. Stay glued to your seat. Uh, 
Um, so now I can see you've put a little bit of oil inside the pan. Yeah, I put a little Why? bit of olive oil in here. Okay. I don't want anything to stick. And whenever I, when I'm gonna saute the vegetables and everything, okay, I want them to. I don't want them to stick. And this olive oil is a lot more healthy for you okay. than canola oil or so any of that other oil. Great. So that's the first thing that uh, we're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So whilst you're cooking, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay. And with the questions that I'm gonna ask you, I have already set the question inside my bowl here. Okay. So you're gonna select one of these papers inside okay. the bowl and then you give it to me to read and then I will ask you the question. Okay. Yeah. So you can select, pick one of the... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. Okay, sure. And I'm gonna cut these up while he's asking me questions. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this butternut squash. <laughs> I want to get this a little bit smaller because this is the first thing I need to put in so they can start getting soft. Okay, that's great. Um, so Rashad, what is your dream movie? Dream movie? Yes. Um, my dream movie. I don't know, something that, that I'm inspiring the world. I want to inspire people. I want to be athletic mm -hmm. while being loving, God-fearing, okay. and a little bit of kick-ass and funny at the same time. Okay. Like a little mix. There's no necessarily specific thing, just a mix of all of it. There's a mix of all of that. Yes. Okay, and if I should put it together, what is your dream movie role or character? And who do you want to act alongside? Uh, I would love to act alongside. The first name that came to mind was Will Smith. Will Smith, you know, yeah, because Will Smith, he's like a legend. I grew up, I grew up watching Will Smith, and you know, he was rapping, and he started doing a TV show, and he's producing his own stuff. Then his okay. kids are in the industry, and he's always inspirational and wow. empowering. So he's an actor, yeah. but he's also a great human. But I've seen your um, movies on your page, which you were doing well for yourself. SWAT, was it a series or a movie? Uh, it was a movie, and SWAT actually, SWAT 887, it was actually the first movie that I did that released. And then it released in Japan initially, then online. Oh, okay. Then you all don't have Redbox here, but in America we have like Redbox where you can like rent movies out of there. So uh, okay. it was like, it was cool to see. And then it was inside of, we have Walmart, Best Buy, a okay. bunch of different places. So it got great release, so that was amazing. 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 Okay, um, so that's great, that's great. Uh, let's move on to our second question, and then, yeah. Uh, let's go with this one. Okay, that's great. Um, so, Rashad, tell us about how you secure the first movie gig. <laughs> Man, okay. Yeah. My, the first movie gig I actually secured, mm -hmm. this is my very first job in Hollywood. So okay. this is a crazy movie called Terror Tunes 3. Okay. And in Hollywood, they don't really give you a lot of details about the role. You'll know maybe the name of the project. My, the name of my role was Wolf, playing a wolf. Wolf? Yeah, a wolf. And it's a comedy. Well, you actually like wolf. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big wolf, you know. Ooh, and then wolf in the kitchen. <laughs> right. And, and then I had, well, they only told me like two lines about okay. what I was going to be doing. So I get into the, uh, the audition. Okay. I do my lines. Mm -hmm. And then they ask me, um, they're like, are you willing to, before I moved to LA, I was like, bro, I'm never doing anything naked. I don't, what do I need to get naked for? Okay. And then, but I'm in the room and they're like, we really like you. Are you willing but to? But I can see you're always comfortable in your skin. So I, I'm comfortable in my skin, Yes. but I don't know if I'm comfortable with my, oh. my you know? So they're like, are you willing to be nude? I'm like, yeah. well, what do you mean? Yes. They're like, we need you to be fully nude for part of this movie. Whoa. So and everybody I'm, like watched you. The, well, well the, the, it was the director and the cinematographer in the room, okay. and they liked me. And I was like, "Well, why do I have to be nude? What's happening, guys? Does he has to go nude in a nude kitchen show now?" <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like, "Why do I have to be nude?" So I don't want to give away part of the movie, but part of the movie, they're like, "When you transform into a wolf." Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, it, it makes sense. Yeah, you right. can't transform into a wolf and turn into this big bad wolf and have the same clothes yeah, on. Yes, clothes on, yeah. So I was I like- I used to so I understand what you mean. Yeah, so I was like, it makes sense, you right. know? So that was the first movie that I booked that I had a lead role in. And this movie is a crazy movie. It's I a twisted movie. It. Mm -hmm. It's called Terra Tunes 3. You can okay. stream it, you can find it online. Terra Tunes 3, right. it's right. really funny. So what are you doing now? Are you cutting your potatoes? So I, I cut the butternut squash and the okay. sweet potatoes. I'm gonna move these to the side okay. and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw those in to go ahead mm -hmm. and start uh, getting soft. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this coconut water in there, this coconut water, put a little bit of cinnamon on them, coconut water, so cinnamon. You spice it up with it. Yeah, put a little bit of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna put the brown sugar 
and I'm gonna put a little bit of the brown sugar in the Why bowl. don't you measure with your spoon? Nah, what man, you, you know, you, when you're cooking for real, man, you just <laughs> put everything, you, you know, just, you go. You that's just all it go. is. <laughs> so, uh, so if you want to know the measurement in the seat of the uh, cinnamon, mm -hmm. sprinkle it across the top. That's okay. the measurement. Sprinkle it across the top. That's great. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this, throw this into the water that's boiling, drop a little bit of this vanilla abstract in there to give it a little vanilla flavor, mm -hmm. and add a little bit of this coconut water, that's coconut great. milk. So we'll move on to the other three questions but before that we will just see how you're gonna do your cooking and after the food is finished we will come back again with the other three questions so yeah i'll leave you to cook now that'll work thank sure. you sure you're welcome put a nut squash in here i already added a little bit of water but okay. i don't want too much water the water is just you know to get it soft the stuff's gonna fall to the side it's all good okay so i'll put that in there okay. can you pass me that coconut milk over there really quick? okay Coconut milk. Add a little bit of coconut milk. Is this American kind of food? Uh, you know, it's a this this butternut squash. My mom is vegan, oh. so some of these things I'm cooking are more just vegan. It's not even so. Yeah, this butternut squash is like something my mom makes. So, and I just add my own things. So, can you pass me the uh, vanilla? I need the vanilla. This one? And yes, right. and then this vanilla, you only need a drop. You know, the drop. vanilla, the vanilla okay. you only need a little drop of this. And then I need that brown sugar. Brown sugar. In the spoon. In the spoon, okay. In the spoon, let's say, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna, like since you said spoon? something, I'll, I'll measure, yeah, so. So you're gonna measure like one what? coffee spoon. Okay, two. two. Three, Three and I'm gonna go with four. Oh my god, yeah, you love so sugar. <laughs> four and then um, the cinnamon one more time just to kind of go over the top. What is cinnamon, it? Okay. cinnamon yeah, four yeah, corner. Right. Sure. Boom. Sprinkle this over the top. There we go. And then this can this can pretty much be at boiling. So if your stove, whatever the highest temperature is on it, you can just go to that okay. and then mix it all up. So is this the face one of your cookie? Yeah, this is the first one because this takes the longest because the butternut squash is harder. You okay. know, everything else that I'm cooking is soft. So uh, this needs to get soft. Okay, so, that's so how long does it take? So this usually takes about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes of just sitting in here boiling, getting boiling, soft, boiling, getting boiling, soft boiling. and sucking wow. up all the juices and the flavor and everything. Then actually this is not a quick meal. No, that this this part isn't quick. The other stuff is gonna be quick. Quick, okay. Yeah, this other stuff. So now we're gonna move over here to, I'm gonna chop up the chicken breasts, and the thing is with the chicken breasts, um, okay. the chicken breasts are kind of thick. So I, what I always like to do with the chicken breasts mm -hmm. is cut in between and just make it make one chicken breast into two chicken into breasts. Two. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just slice this off. So um, I've seen that your chicken and everything is in the plate now. Um, right. It's very nice. Okay, so guys, um, I'm going to leave um, Rashad so that he can do his cooking and I'll join him later and see what he got for us. Thank you. I'm out. Rashad. All right, thank you. All right, so as you can see, I had to move the chicken off of the, washing, the, off of the board, the cutting board, and rinse it off. I don't want any salmonella or anything. So then from here, I'm gonna go, I need to take this chicken broth, drop this chicken broth. Well, this is chicken stock. In America, we use chicken broth. This is gonna go inside of this pot for the rice, just because I want that this rice to have, I want this rice to have some really good flavor. So I drop that in there. And then I'm gonna take some scoops of this rice and drop it in here, one scoop into the pot with that chicken broth. So these two things have to be in here a little bit longer because they're hard, so I need them to be soft. There we go. All right. Cool. All right, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my, I have my bell pepper, my onion, 
in my mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping these up because I want to go ahead and I want to saute these. All right, so what I'm gonna chop up is my bell pepper, rinse that off, my onion and some mushrooms. I'm only gonna use about half a bell pepper, half an onion, and these mushrooms, I'll say about eight mushrooms. And that's it, basic chopping, get it pretty fine, and uh, you'll see it when it's all chopped up and everything. All right, so it's now time to go ahead and season everything. So I wanna go ahead and season my meat, my chicken, and my veggies at the same time. This adobo, boom. I love this stuff right here. This stuff is amazing. The way I season, I kind of just sprinkle evenly over. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Gonna go over here, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. I'm gonna come back to this because I need to flip the chicken and do that again. A little bit of my white pepper. Don't use the white pepper if you don't like spice. I like a little bit of spice, so I'm gonna do my white pepper. A little bit of that. Put a little bit of that in here. In between this, I don't wanna forget about the stuff that I already have on the stove. So I need my rice. I turned the rice down, it was cooking on high. Now it's on low, it's pretty much done. Cook that, stir that up. The butternut squash, stir that up a little bit. I'm gonna keep that on high, but then my rice, I turned that on low. So now, uh, yeah, so then go ahead and add a little bit of my garlic salt. I don't really use salt. People use a lot of salt, I don't really use it, but these seasonings naturally already have a little salt inside of them. Do a little bit of garlic salt garlic salt if you have some garlic garlic is amazing to just go ahead and crush up and put on there and then again like I said I like spice I'm gonna put a little bit of this cayenne pepper but just a little bit a couple of us eating here so I don't want to make it too spicy put a little bit of that and I'm only gonna put the cayenne pepper on one side since it's spicy about the salt and then I'm gonna take this I'm gonna go ahead and saute I'm gonna start sauteing all my veggies so I take that over here and I want to get them nice and soft and tasting good. Scrape this in here. It's gonna pop a little bit. Bam. We on some. Also, I have the oven on. I have the oven on because I'm gonna grill this. I'm gonna put this on the stove top. I'm gonna season the other side. I'm gonna put it on the stove top, but I'm not gonna fully cook it because I want to put it into the stove with the cream of mushroom. This isn't cream of mushroom. I usually would use cream of mushroom, but this is basically the same thing. I'm gonna put this on top of it, but you'll see. Okay, so I'm here, chilled and relaxed, and I have my other questions I need to ask. Brashid, so my questions are already here and Brashid, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. So are you on the phase two of your cooking? Yeah, basically I just flipped the chicken over okay. and I'm, uh, I'm just seasoning the other side. That's I have great. the rice is pretty much done. I turned it on low. The butternut squash okay. is getting soft. The, uh, my mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, mm -hmm. they're sauteing, that's getting right. And, uh, yeah, wow. I, can't wait. Spot. I can't wait to taste your food. Yeah, we're, we're about 20 minutes away. Surprise! <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you. No problem. Um, okay, let me put it here. I saw a post of your donation of shoes and socks to children in Lanka, Cape Town, precisely, last month. Yes. What is your motivation for doing that? Um, my motivation, honestly, real quick, you gotta don't want anything to burn, so you gotta saute and mix <laughs> sure. it up a little bit. I want to talk, <laughs> everything's burned. <laughs> okay. But uh, my motivation, when I first got to Cape Town a couple of months ago, I went for, I was running on a Sunday, okay. and there was a homeless guy, and he was. Well, I'm used to seeing homeless guys and people, men and women in Los Angeles, but this guy had a female shoe on and a male shoe, and one didn't have any shoelaces. Oh my God. So I'm like, wait a minute, how can you walk? Wow. Like, you, I understand beat up that, but this guy, it was terrible condition. 
you know, and I asked him, I was like, hey, can you show me where a store is? And I was um, in, in Cape Town, you know, there's Lion's Head and, um, Lion's Head and Table Mountain. There's, a Table Mountain. Interse yeah. there's an intersection yeah. right there where you pick which one you want to go to. So we're all the way up there. And I'm like, hey, can you show me one? He's like, well, it's all the way down in town. Okay. And I was like, well, will you show me? So he walked with me to show me a store. But the store is one, they didn't want to let him in because of how his condition, how he looked. And two, they didn't really have shoes. Sure. So I told him to meet me the next day at Pep so we could buy okay. a pair of shoes for him on Strand and a Pep, just the clothing store or whatnot. And he didn't show up at 10 o'clock that morning. Too bad. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy shoes for everybody in oh, Cape okay. Town, South Africa that needs shoes. That's what's up. So, That's yes. What's up. So since then, we've uh, given away. 591 pairs of shoes. Oh yeah, I've, my I've God. literally given away 591 pairs of shoes. If wow. you want to see more about this, go to Kicks for Kids SA on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, Kicks okay. for Kids, and that's all spelled out. That's that's actually great, and that's what this show is all about. We we are making this to bring people on board, also to help the needy. Sometimes right. I always say, even the water that we use to flush our toilet is even better than the water some people drink in their villages and all that. So right. if you've come up with this idea, I think it's very great and we look forward to see you do more about this. And I'll move on to my next question and just pick one of these questions and then, yeah. Let's go with that. All right, and as you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and drop this okay, in sure. here. So come here, come here, come on, come on. Come yeah. On. <laughs> All right, so as you get ready to ask me this question, I'm going to go ahead and drop this in here. Everything's simmering. Okay, right. So this chicken can get some nice, good flavor in it. Right. I'm going to go ahead and drop it right on top of all the vegetables, let it cook. Wow. Put it all around there. All right. What's the question? So the got? question is, um, what has been your most challenging role till now? My most challenging role till now. Yes. It was a movie that I did. Um, I cannot remember the name of the movie right now. Are you serious? How many yeah. movies have you done so far that you can't really remember good, your most challenging movie? The thing is, I've done over 300 movies, TV shows, and commercials. So at times, I can't. That's a lot. I remember now. <laughs> the name of it is Jade. And if you go on IMDb or if you type in my name, Brashad okay. Mayweather, you'll see all my stuff. And it's B R A S H A A D Mayweather. But yeah, so basically with this uh, movie Jade, I had to get, I had to do 10 pages of dialogue per day. So I, that means I had to learn 10 pages per day, but then I film for 12 hours, okay. get off, and then go learn 10 pages within eight hours. I have to sleep and learn 10 pages within eight hours. Wow. So that was extremely difficult because I had to learn, I had to use words that I don't usually use. Okay. I had to do lots of things that I wasn't used to, to doing. So doing that was challenging, but I loved it because after I did that, I was like, there's no role that I can do any role after any role. doing that. So that was so perfect for me. I'm right. gonna go ahead and turn this rice off. But yeah, so that was the toughest because I had to do so many pages okay. and I only had eight hours to sleep and learn the pages. Whoa. That was, that was challenging. And this is the last question. You don't have to select it because it's the only <laughs> paper left in the poll. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. Um, you are a world traveler. Yes. How many countries have you been to and which trip would you never forget? Um, I don't even know how many countries I've been to <laughs> now that I think about it because I just get up and go. You I just, just go. I just go. It's a trip that I would never forget. Um, it's crazy. Cape Town is one of my favorite, but I will not use Cape Town. Why? I will use. Okay, I'm gonna have to use Cape Town. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to use Cape Town. And this is why I love Cape Town. Yeah. I woke up one day mm -hmm. and something in my spirit, I was feeling used, taken advantage of, like okay. people didn't really care of, you know, I, they were using me for what I could do for them mm -hmm. when I was in the States. And then I woke up and I said, I'm moving to Africa. Wow. And I was like, I'm gonna go to Cape Town, South Africa. So what really inspires you every time or what really moves you to visit a country? Uh, I would say what moves me to visit a country is to learn something different. You know, in America, I feel like America, we're taught that we are the greatest country and all these different things, which, you know, I do think we're one of the, one of the greatest countries in opportunity that we give. Yeah. But what moves me is to go learn different cultures and then me being an African-American, first it says African. <laughs> that's where I get my skin tone. That's where I get my blood from. Yeah. So that's what moved me to like want to come to Africa. You know, when I go to Caribbean islands, what moves me there 
is I like to see different tropical environments. That's why I get a lot of my peace. Okay. So then I go to those places. Then I'll go to like Italy or or uh, or France okay. just so I can eat something good. Wow. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so it just it just depends. It, okay. It's food, food culture, food and culture. Food and culture. Dr food, culture, and water That's drive right. me to different places. To different All right, I'm almost done. So the rice is done, the butternut squash is pretty much done, the chicken, I flipped it over, and I'm just cooking the other side. I'm not gonna cook it all the way because I wanna throw it in the oven with the cream of mushroom on top of it, and then it's gonna be, everything's gonna be done, just about done with everything. I think I have a tissue, that's the last thing. So let me get to that. Bit. that bit, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! What motivated you to do this tattoo? Uh, my tattoo actually it says United States of America yes. that's across the top mm -hmm. in South Florida people would like come up to me speaking Spanish or another language I'm like no nah, I'm Af I speak English speak United English States of America mm -hmm. Statue of Liberty, Liberty to represent yeah. freedom all of our bills in America saying God we trust but I got in God I trust that's you great. know then my mom's signature every bill has a president then on my way to my first million this is a dollar bill, of course, you can see on my way to my first million. A code, special code I have, M for the Mayweather Live show. It's a TV show I hosted that was on TV for four years. Then I have Life is What You Make It. Okay, that's And good. then my signature to stamp and approve of this Talk message. of Mayweather, are you connected to Mayweather? Is he a family member? Yeah, a family member, but I didn't, I didn't like grow up with him. So he knows me and I know him, but I didn't actually grow up with him. Oh. You got some cash here, yes. <laughs> yeah, so now I got to know that he's a family member. He re is related to Mayweather and all that. And guys, don't go anywhere. All right, boss man, I'm done. I got the plate ready. Come on, come check it out. Come back, come back to me. I want you to see what I got for you in this kitchen. Woo! I am done. All right, come on, boss man, come on. Okay, yeah. whoa, this is yes. so amazing. Wow, Yes. wow, this looks great. So what is this? I know you've already introduced it to us, yeah, but... but uh, yeah, I had to go ahead and make the salad special. I went ahead and uh, okay. put the spinach over here. I chopped up some of the tomatoes, put a little okay. bit of bell peppers, grind up a little bit of, or shred a little bit of cheese. Bam, there you go, nice wow. little salad. So if I should come to your restaurant, how much do you think I can pay for this meal? Uh, if this was in America, mm -hmm. I would say 25. If this was in Rand, I would say about 225 rand somewhere around there wow so this that's, that's what i'll say but mm -hmm. it, it's something that's nice it's but healthy, it's healthy. Yeah, and, it's, see and everything mm -hmm. is made specifically for you everything is seasoned everything is chopped up everything is just perfectly done okay okay that's great that's great so i'm not actually the one going to do the tasting i always taste the food actually looks nice 
but I'm going to invite a special guest all the way from France. Uh, he's by name Kellen. Uh, Kellen, via Messi. <laughs> Hello, Kellen. I have big muscle guys here with me here today. Not, they are all bigger than me. As you guys see, they are all bigger than me. He prepared a very nice meal for us and he's going to do the tasting. Um, S'il vous plaît, uh, la taste and the sweets and uh, tapo. Okay. <laughs> I think you have to add a little bit of, you know. Mm. 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 How does it taste like? It's mm -hmm. very good. Okay. Mm. C'est trop bon. C'est what? C'est trop bon. C'est trop bon. Let him eat. Yeah. You see, he wants to eat. It's a winner. When you. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, yes. Do you want to know what it is? That's sweet. It's a um, mm, patate douce. It's a um, sweet potatoes. And sweet potatoes and butternut squash. Oh, okay. Oh, that's very good. Mm. Please. Mm, I like it. I, I think, I, I, think I think I want. He said, I'm that's eating good. everything. Like he's gonna eat everything. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm. Can I have a taste also? Yes. Mm. Mm, that's very good. Wow. It's cut nicely. Yes. It's cool. It's good. This is perfect. How do you say perfect in uh, French? Parfait. Perfect. Parfait. Perfecto. Perfecto. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. It's absolutely nice. Thank you for having me on the show. And thanks for coming. I, I appreciate, appreciate you yeah. for coming on the Nude Cousin Show. This very nice outfit was made by Antas Clothing all the way from Ghana. So guys, follow his page and get more of African print clothes. And very nice apron. And you can follow Brashad on his Instagram handle. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Koi Fitness. Brashad also on Instagram. And Kaelin. Yes, you can find us on YouTube as well. Thank you guys and see you when we see you. Deuces! <laughs>